go we if just, it's the same We week. have our routine. As oh, we move. no. But as we move over to Rob versus Lucario, <laughs> Dill versus Vivi, of course, as you guys know, this is not a hero matchup whatsoever. In fact, hero loses these absolutely. So Lucario, definitely the bigger, uh, the best pick, actually. And our fellow Lucario um, knowledge is here. Yeah, this is even matchup. <laughs> this is even. Yeah, it is. even. It, it, like, it's... Lucario has really good movement. He has a... a, a while Nair, he doesn't have the best parry punishes, he has a good out-of-shield option in that forward air for facing forward. Uh, backwards can be a little bit tricky, but since a lot of time uh, the pressure that comes out from Rob is usually in your face yep. with either down tilts or landing neutral airs, so you can oftentimes get away with some forward, uh, some forward tilts, uh, some forward airs out of shield. And just generally, the movement game can be super strong as well as just getting rewarded for having this amount of damage. All it really comes down to, though, is where there is uh, whether or not Vivi can be evasive enough to make Dill second guess some of the the, the reads that she has, or if Dill commits to those reads and is able to close out early stops with a super high up air or with an up smash call out, something of that like. Yeah, absolutely. Completely agree with everything you just said. Or you know, Oh. Always got to watch out for the arm rotor and always got to uh, watch out for the up air, which she turned around first and before jumping back on stage with that up air, messing up your DI, messing up your life. Everything. And, and all of it's gone. Everything you can do about it. And also, the up air is really strong anyway, oh, as yeah. Rob and Lucar at 128, give her a take at that at the start of that move. Yeah, look, Vivi was definitely going to be eating that and now has to work so much harder, uh, or just that much harder against Dill now that they're at a fresh new stock. 60% already to their name and Dill only at 106. Oh, and finally getting killed off the top of the blast zone Premier. with up there. <laughs> true combo, by the way, because it was the land, it was the late hit of up tilt, the, the, the reverse, the front hit. Okay. It starts behind him, then goes it to goes the front. It goes forward? Ah, yeah. okay. So. You get hit by the other, the the later hit, then you can get some true combos out of it. Combine that with a little bit of aura, get make some magic. Nice. Uh -oh. oh, this is the gyro setup. Absolutely. You know, <laughs> I like you know, bounce, 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 bounce. We all bounce, watched bounce. that happen. I was like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Like, oh, I know exactly what this is. This is this is sadness, actually. No, what are you doing? No, hello. <laughs> Waiting out aura? <laughs> like waiting out invincibility timer? Like the aura doesn't go away. I'll have to think. I'll have to think about that for a little bit. But we're moving right into this and trying to uh, try, still trying to take advantage and keep VV at the slow percent before uh, to where Vivi's not too much of a threat until she finds big combo starters. Like, you want to deal Lucario damage in bunches. Yeah, absolutely. Continuously ticking up his uh, his aura only inevitably services him because you mitigate your combo percents. Mm -hmm. You want to just like, okay, he's at 41. I know I know what to do at 41. I know what BB wants. I know what I can do at this percent. Then, once you can take him to 40 to 70. And ideally, from here, 70 to 80, 80 to maybe death if that back air connected. And you know, I'm saying, that, like, I, I think I mentioned before, you definitely want to just uh, not do too many straight hits with the car. You want a good, clean combo. And with Rob, you can do that on stage like he like, like, is to just carry Lucario over, over, over to blast them with a side B or even back air, and that is game for them. And once again, trying to get the, another one of those Gyro setups, however, Gyro kind of just uh, timed out, unfortunately. Gyro now in hand before VV going to throw up in the air. He can't really challenge Dill's recovery and just making sure he doesn't get any kind of shield. Uh, I'm sorry, not hit by the uh, Aura Spear. The tech roll in was dangerous, but. These two are still wow. peppering back and forth. Vivi is on the hunt for a force palm, it looks like, yeah. really, given how they're dashing. But that landing there was just going to close us off. Runoff platform, neutral air. Landing on block at this amount of aura is actually zero on shield. So there was no uh, guaranteed punish for Dill unless they called out with the option afterward, but ended up getting hit by it anyway. Now this is a, this is pretty much an even game. I'm not gonna oh, lie. Oh yeah, 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 this is absolutely even. VV is at 129. percent ah. Ooh, that was like, oh, that was, that was scary. <laughs> oh, had it been any bigger, it would've been a shield break, right? Uh, like, no, no. Oh no. Okay. Orso doesn't do that much shield damage, oh, okay. but that whiff grab could result in the stock here this down knife, throw. No, waiting out the. Ma okay, the mash was... from VV was. The delayed okay. mash? Delayed mash into a frame four yep. down air to escape. That back air almost closing out the stock and not even close to Max Aura just yet. Getting the Z drop out of shield, but <gasps> jump too high. 
Okay, had the counter there and has the angles in order to zip right back to stage and set up a ledge trap. Dill has to save the resources, getting caught by Orosphere into that up air. I was going to, yeah. When you're, so the position of Orosphere really matters and you yeah. have to do it in a split second reaction time because uh, or, the DI influence on Orosphere is quite large. But with how this B reverse came in, you see them cross over and boom, right here, uh, back air will back air will cover this zone right here so you're not really looking for that but because the uh, the models are both on each other and up here here is guaranteed every single time yeah in top of the fact that one of the but one of the early buffs Lucario had was the sweet spot of up air made much much larger and it's now encroaching onto Lucario's thigh so that's just a, also literally so like literally yeah like nor Pre-patch, I don't think the sweet spotted. Post-patch, absolutely every single time. Nice. I, was I mean, that was post like 3.1, so it's like a while ago. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna actually compliment Dill's um, awareness of staying a little bit lower than the ledge in order to make sure she doesn't get clipped by a larger aura sphere. And then she just died, and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the Achilles heel, right? Yeah. You want to be aggressive. You don't want to grab ledge because aura sphere hits a ledge, and you don't want to like play that dangerous game. But you want to get too close to the cardio because yeah. then you get shield, pre you get aura pressure, you get caught into a little model scenario where you are guaranteed death at up air at that yeah. percentage. You're like, are you gonna are you gonna take that gamble and jump can only carry you so far? And like that beer versus aura sphere, it does so much for the character, setting up for a grab into a jump read back air. Of course, reading a jump it doesn't matter as much against Rob, but still, Dill loves to use all of the resources that she has to their advantage. And Vivi, they have been just, they've been playing the game that you really need to. Slowly manage your percent before finding these burst options and these big swings, looking for the Aura Sphere charge on platform just to add that extra pressure. But it's been a very, very center stage focused yep. affair. And Absolutely. Right Both now. characters want control of the center stage oh, yeah. as much as they can. They don't want to be. Neither character really wants to be in disadvantage, you know. Lucar especially. Um, can they bring Ooh. it back? Absolutely can. Yeah. Once it gets a real high percentage, absolutely. But all overall, you don't really want to scrap with Dill for too long because we've seen situations where Dill would just go from zero to death instantly. That the the um, control the extreme speed also is so important for BB as well. You can't guess where they're going to go. You know, they could go so fast right around you. And your setup that you're gonna have on a ledge is fruitless. Oh, tr once again, try going for that gyro setup with the uh, bounce, bounce, bounce into a uh, forest mash. Look at Vivi's just like commitment to I'm going to dash, I'm going to jump away, I'm going to give you the space that you want because you can't catch me, and I have no reason to put myself in position where you want, where you can catch me. A lot of retreats, a lot of charging of ores here, and then he'll mix in those force palm flames, those uh, landing neutral airs or back airs to keep Dill honest. And it's just, it, it's a really dangerous back and forth that Dill has to play with. Vivi at 173, they are slowly getting to Max Aura, but they bounced. That is why yeah. that down air hit at the sour spot, not the sweet spot, and it killed anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's just been all the way just straight up, and now Vivi's back at 0%. Uh, and that has to kind of recharge uh, their aura as much as they can against yeah. someone like Dill. Dill slowly getting up rage as uh, Rob as well. And like you said, I'm loving uh, BB using a lot of these like you know retreat and come in, retreat, come in, just so they can stay safer against someone like Rob who can easily kill at like 60% with a good armor to off the stage or um, or dragging into the blast zone. Buy plats are so are very very good for Lucario and a lot because you can play that game plan so effectively. But look at this damage into the, the double team. Yeah. Double team affected by they, Lucario's aura. They I'm do a Lucario it. percentage. Yes, yeah, very very much so. And BB doesn't normally uh, go for double teams because they, they self admitted they think they're bad at calling out uh, mm -hmm. calling out hit boxes like that. But when you have a frame four counter that just is accessible to you at uh, at certain key moments, then it's such a good get off me tool. But we, I mean, they'll re even it back up immediately, and those are the type of things where you want to see uh, against Lucario. Like you don't let him snowball because that's where Aura it really is dangerous. Yes. Just get the kill immediately, drop from Halo platform, boom, you're gone, and let's keep this even. But Vivi's saying, hey, I'm trying to bring this to a 2-0 set count as I find these grabs, as I find these reads, as I find these jump callouts. That's all the damage he's gonna get though, as yep. Dill just 
She goes to the skies. And yeah, that's that's one thing Dill does very efficiently. You cannot catch her in the skies. Just trying to recover back safely. Like right here, Vivi absolutely cannot call Dill out whatsoever. And maybe a humongous punish right now. Trying to get a side beat off of that and gain punish hard with a forward smash. However, still uh, staying safe out there with a really good DI. Not getting too close to the blast zone either. And this might be a little bit more of a chance for Dill to come back. No, missing the small laser, but getting a little bit of the side spot of the forward smash into the general throw. And that's the second game. Into a game three. Oh my god, it all falls apart so quickly. Why DI gotta be so good? Look at this. I mean, you check the laser for the coverage and then gets the dash back forward smash. Vivi still has all of his resources here, except for a jump. So they go for an immediate air dodge. I guess thinking that the gyro was charged maybe, but it was a slow... Yeah, they charged it for a little bit, but not. A, they didn't expect it to be as charged as it was. Or as not as charged as it was. So it moves slower than Vivi intended it, uh, thinking it would. It's time that air dodge, and that's just so little timing mix-ups get you. Like that's and Rob takes advantage of those so so much in just the their native kit, which Dill does to great effect by mixing in how many down tilts you go for, how the height at which Nair is used, which ties into what we were complimenting earlier of v, uh, uh, Dill choosing the height at which she uh, manipulates herself at with the burner, uh, the Robo burner, whatever the up be. Very, very, very interesting stuff and a very important way to use what is usually a pretty simple kit. Uh, look at this amazing damage that VV Array has against Dill. Nothing on them quite yet. And, okay, just, just try to say that. A little bit of damage on VV right now, but Dill taking that trade off uh, just for a little bit of a startup for herself. But no, nothing off of that trade either. Just kind of having to kind of obey VV for a little bit. Uh, sticking off into the ledge and letting VV take control of the center stage and a little bit of the platform maneuver as well. Yeah, these platforms are super are a really great height because they mix in uh, falling nair, which is one of Lucario's best neutral tools. Um, by just doing runoff nair off these platforms, you get to the uh, you get the perfect spacing where it's minus two on shield or minus whatever every single time, and then you can mix that in with uh, with aura sphere charges and with uh, different yeah. uh, different empty landings. And it's, it's all just very nice mobility on a stage like this. Combined with its whip, you have extra survivability when you play close to this Pokeball, which Vivi, they have been doing as much as possible. Though Dill, when she finds her moments, she finds her big moments. And on a platform like this, it gets at least a fair anti-air forward tilt on the platform. Hello. Like that's, and that's another one thing that Vivi doesn't use often. Forward tilt is very seldom used in Vivi's kit, who prioritizes mobility over poking. Absolutely. Yeah, Vivi's movement as Lucario is very beautiful to watch. The amount of time that they're able to be reversed off the stage platform or, you know, uh, near off the stage as well, uh, off the platform as well. Not getting anything off the counter, unfortunately. Good match, though. Uh, um, yeah, might that's be a, a possible time. misinput, yeah. or maybe guessing a street extreme speed of some sort. Yeah, that's... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's... There was no aura sphere charge to be had, so it was yeah, a no. misinput and a half. Trying to pressure on this with Nair, calls out the jump with forward air. VV looking just to keep the Rakdos damage up and actually use the aura that they have. 99%, such a sweet spot because you're not dead to anything safe immediately. You of course have to play careful. Rob can kill you with a drop of a hat. But at 51% now, oh, that dash attack was so good by Dill to call out the landing, but just not able to get the follow-ups that she needs to close out stocks. And is being very disciplined to have this game be drawn out to a very long time, but that grab, this grab could be huge. Oh, Once again, a delayed mash from Vivi. Typically, Dill uh, is able to kind of read if you're going to mash out really quickly, which is what entices them to either go for a jump into up air or go right into up tilt into up air. And just finally getting that jump read uh, mash out of the pummel into the ground with some up air, I think, yeah. right? Was it? Yeah, it was just keep yeah. a little clean up air. There's nothing, nothing too extraneous here. You're not yeah, trying yeah. to, you're not trying to risk VV surviving at like 160. No, that's no. no, no, thank you. But oh, gets him down to end the trip after three of them. 58 here, the dash attack anti air uh, before the back air could come out. Oh. Just throwing Dara up in the air again, a little bit of damage onto Dill. Anything really helps right now. Really great, once again, great match from VB out of the grab. Once oh, again, trying to go for the arm rotor uh, uh, a little bit off stage as well. Oh! 
careful with these gyros. They can just sail us forever. One of those items that just go keeps on going after the item toss, on rarely very affecting very the tra trajectory or movement more gameplay. Oh, risking it all. Vivi going for such a huge, uh, a, a huge call out, but not finding it and wasn't punished. So allowed to sustain their aura and close out the stock in turn. Damage. Right on there. Here we go. Okay, so we're at that percent where it still trades. Interesting, but the cross up there keeps VV safe. Again, at that 90% sweet spot past 65, but below 100 is such a good area of effect to be in. This aura is dangerous, but not in the threat where you're not in kill range quite yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, the little drift in order to avoid that up tilt was huge as another back air caught on these double jumps. What is that, three now throughout no, this set? Yeah. Like. There's so many different VV just calling things out from Dill. Uh, so efficiently, and now we're having a situation where Dill is having to kind of... She, she has kind of slowed down, you know? This is something that she uh, has to be careful, because now Vivi has a whole extra stuff to play with. Vivi has Rage, Vivi has Aura as well. Extreme Speed coming back to stay as safely as they can without getting punished, but now Miss uh, doing the forward smash for Vivi and getting punished with Dill's own forward smash. Now Vivi has to play with no Aura, low percentage, and Dill has that Rage going, you know? Yeah. As much as we can make the joke of like Lucario high percent, Euro low percent, it's even. This is just as even. Like, yep. You're not gonna. You're not really in threat of stock loss to anything besides exactly a forward smash. And one landing there on ledge here could mean stock if you or if they're able to find a combo into a big arm rotor. But now as you the percentage gets high, Gyro took the hit for her. That's, I mean, it's such a good anti for tool, and we're ah, getting the stock! I was gonna say, the issue with Lucario's role is that he goes nowhere with his role. And yeah. Dill has ex explained to me multiple times that she knows this, and she can catch Lucario almost every time they do any kind of role. This is a quote, I was just a tight get-up, but like, just rolling in and out, she typically is able to catch Vivi in those situations, and that kind of happened here uh, multiple times where she's just able to catch uh, such a small roll, unlike Vivi Fit, who has the longest roll ever. Yeah, it goes. A it goes. Year. It, it goes. just goes. It, it goes. just goes. <laughs>